go to Steam settings here. Settings. General. System. All right, go fuck yourself. I can't find. I, I can't find it right now. But if you can, you can do it. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but no. I know if I look up, and which I would do is look up a Google or a YouTube Google video, YouTube video. Congratulations. And two seconds later, I would know how to. There was a. They, I, maybe they've changed the UI, but there was like it was like right there. I remember last time. Um, wings of DSP banning banning anyone who calls my chicken sandwich a meatball burger. I can't believe you said to look at meatball sub. Like, where the fuck does that thing look like a meatball sub? What meatball subs? Ah, uh, Gabe is here. Gabe is here. Brats, brats, brats. Congratulations. Ah, will Gaben ever bless us with Half Life Three? And big taints. God, these things suck now. Oh, no. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> no. File that under no shit. Oh, man. That was, that's a shocker, huh? Missed my last, did I? Rich, can you upload it? Possibly, Scarlet. So there you go, Classy. Uh, Jeremy, I missed you. Shoulders TV doesn't understand. Yeah, it makes noise. It's a small, powerful de device. It needs to be cool. And yeah, there's a way you could change the fan curve. I used it one in the older revision a while back. It was. I'm sure I could find it, like I said, by looking up a YouTube video in seconds. Let me turn it off so I don't lose battery. Um, yeah, they give it with the dock. They give you another charger. Char that's why it's uh, it makes it more worthwhile, and it's kind of convenient too. I like that they do that. So if you buy Valve's dock, you have it the charge there, and you have the other charger that came with the Steam Deck. So you just take it, you just remove it from the dock, and then just take it and put it on your other charger if you want to play it portably. How does it fit in here? Fits good. It's almost like Valve made it for their own device. Clicks in nice. That actually looks pretty good too. Breasts. Um. Yes, I just burp breasts. Don't at me. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. See that? So there it is on the dock. All right, good shit. Anyway, back to tickle television now. Mocking people because they didn't blindly just agree with his opinion. I, and I don't think I should have to do that for the fans not to randomly sound like a jet taking off. I didn't do the Oblivion music, Porky's Butthole. Oh, wait. Well, Phil... Oh, wait. That's a new one. That is a new super chat. Sorry. 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 8-Ball with Oblivion music. Will Phil ever admit that you should have taken Keemstar offer? Also, will you add the new intro farts at the soundboard? Yes, I will. The Magic Bird Ball. Will Phil ever admit that he should have taken Keemstar's offer? Oh, come on, you fucker. 
No doubt about it. Terrence Williams, tits are moist, thank God. Now I could sleep soundly knowing that. Let's continue with Tickle Television. And if you're to suggest that after paying over $600 for a product, I need to jump into settings and tune it to be quiet because it just doesn't naturally have the sense to run on some quiet- Dude, you have to do that with every fucking computer like ever. I could change the fan curve in the BIOS on this thing. Or I could get software and do it. What the fuck are you on? Like, that's every computer ever. You don't want to deal with it, then stick with your tickled... Your I mean, tickled you switch. That doesn't sound right, but I think it's funny. Congratulations. Congratulations. Tony Rodriguez, thank you for the banana. He doesn't even know shit about TVs. Classy Tech could verify that. That's the fucking thing about it. Like, he... Filming videos like it's motherfucking 2010 still on YouTube. Like, like Obama's still got six years left in office. Oh, what's that? You guys talk me. Give you the option to just ban noise, which probably. Yeah. You know what's funny? One of the interesting things about the Steam Deck, I'll unplug it from its dock. That is the first party dock I plugged it into, by the way. I bought that with my own money. I wasn't sent it, so I'm not advertising any shit. One thing I like about the Steam Deck is that, look, <coughs> see how it has the grips? Not only is it ergonomic, but when you put it on a table, when you put it on a table, those grips actually lift it up so air could still flow in. So if you want to download a bunch of games and you're not interested in the dock and you need to keep it on to download the games, you could, by design, it's going to make sure that the air flows through. Except if you have it on something soft like a bed, like uh, up, Captain Air. Thoroughly Tickled over here, that's going to be null and void because it will sink in and therefore struggle to cool the processor. But congratulations. He, but congratulations, he is an asshole. Congratulations. Jeremy, I'm going to give you life advice. Congratulations. Stop coming on everything. Just make your life easier. Question for April is Quantum here watching while being thoroughly tickled. I don't even need the eight ball for this, but uh. let's find out. Is Quantum here? What happened to my the fuck? Where'd you go? Back. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Is Quantum here watching my stream? I don't care what this fucking thing says, I already know the answer. Um. I am thoroughly tickled. I don't believe it, but... <clears throat> the stars say no. I call bullshit, ball. Magic balls made in the 80s are the best, like, mine go retro. Yeah, now they they suck now. It's, like, not even... Congratulations. The poo hoodie always gets my nipples. I don't have the nipples up in it. Or do I have nipples? Do I have Phil's nipples? Do I have Phil's nipples? Do I have Phil's nipples? Well, we got this. No, I don't, but I do have... Yeah! Bubbles! 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 Bubbles. You take the bubbles and shut them up your fucking ass. How about that? I think that's a good, uh, I think that's a good second place. Yeah, these things, like, you shake them, and you have to, like, fight it to get it to actually show. But whatever, it's still fun. And people are obviously enjoying it. And it's basically to meme Phil, which I think is the reason why people are enjoying it even more. Probably isn't great. Well, it's not me. They're all for there. Which is why they probably have it so loud in the first place. Anyway, 
then it's just kind of a moot point. And the fact that it needs that that band. No, they have a they have a less aggressive curve. Or yeah, the SOC gets warmer, yeah, but yeah, it's so. still within spec. But you know that would that would take Quantum three seconds of research to look that up. Also, great job again at having that on a blanket. I'm sure that helps with airflow as well. Excellent job. What? Did, why does he film these like this? That loud? It again. My points are still very on the button as far as my. No, they're, no, they're not on the button when you have that thing on a bed. Experience with it. Now, if you have a different experience, that's cool. But I'm not going to sit here and try to say like it's some great experience because it really is not. The first thing. Sometimes at work when we're bored, we play Hangman. The phrase I chose is of never playing bubbles ever again. And my friend Alex got it. I am thoroughly Dude, tickled. The bubble thing went, and that's not, the bubble thing is much bigger than me. Like everyone, like there was a short that blew up about where is the bubbles? Do we have a uh, triple bubbles? Where's DSP saying? Do I not have a never blown bubbles ever again? Really? Congratulations. Yeah! Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. Oh yeah, bubbles. I'm never blowing bubbles ever again. The fact that a 40 year old man said that unironically is still one of the most amazing things that will ever have graced the internet. Hulk Hogan's giant taint. And big taints. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Uh, question for the April. Can I get some coochie tonight by signing up to Hot Camp Dude's 1992 website? He has valid credentials of sleeping with over 250 women. All right, let's find out. Congratulations. Let's whip out my eight ball. Congratulations. Magic bird ball. The magic bird ball. Got to get some bird sounds in here, too. Ah, uh, it points to unlikely. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to. If I'm going to be down here for like, I'm never blowing bubbles. Question. So, uh, I'm never blowing bubbles ever again. Yes, I have it. I'm never blowing bubbles ever again. Oh, we'll play games. We can definitely play games. Breasts. Thing you'll notice when you turn it on colors are garbage i mean it's 2022 we can't even get an oled screen you know they even make low-end oled phone i explain why valve did this they wanted th this was their experiment version of the, of the steam deck they wanted to make sure because they've tried steam machines remember them granted their business model with them was ridiculous oh we want to make it easier to have computers in the home by making it just as confusing as building your own computer because we're going to have 6,000 different models. So they wanted to see... Actually, it's kind of... Switch was the same thing. That's why they went with the plain Jane Tegra X1 processor and the Switch ended up being a success. This is a success. So I assure you, the next Steam Deck is going to have other features. However, they could have at least went with a better... The screen is adequate at best. They could have went with a better panel for the screen, even if they didn't want to do OLED. Like, this thing isn't special in the least. Like, in the least. It, it, the colors are very bad, okay? And you're supposed to be gaming on this thing, okay? It's and not that bad. Really loud, like I said in my last video, right? And trying to play games on MU Deck after you finally get it set up, the entire thing on my end bricks. So there's there's no functionality of any someone said there's a simple way around this that he didn't mention any kind there's nothing I can do I can push any button I want nothing will work no no holding combinations nothing you can turn it off you can turn it back on and all it's gonna do going is up come left come right back here unless you hard boot it so again I'm not having Three on left side. with this, okay? And I'm showing you this because this is what people do not talk about. Who's in our okay? base now? It, it's it's not. Who wants to place bets? He takes both these videos down. It's not great. So now I've got to reset the device. 
Oh my god, an emulator may have compatibility issues. That won't ever happen on PC. Oh wait, it will. And again, once we set the device, you can see black levels are great. Ed's bleeding out of the corner on a device that cost over $600. Talk all the smack some of you might might want to, the Nintendo Switch doesn't cost 600 Like, why can't he even put the fucking thing on it? Like, at least basics with production value. Just get a fucking cheap tripod from Best Buy, dude. What is wrong with you? Your dollars. Every game works on it that I bought from Nintendo. Well, that's the closed on right ecosystem. Side. I don't have that's how it works. The games that Nintendo is allowing on their on their platform better fucking work. If you go look at Ark Survival Evolved, that's debatable too. Have to do any tinkering? Fans are not ignorantly loud. The screen is gorgeous. It has a kickstand. He's doing this for cheap views. We all know that. We don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. Right? Stick together, I mean, boys. Yes, games do work on this thing. I'm not saying games don't work. I, I don't think any any of my argument has been that, you know, no game works on Steam Deck and it just doesn't work. My argument is, when you go on Steam Deck, you have games that say that they are not compatible with a clear sign indicating that they are not compatible. Now, in my case, this is Mortal Kombat 11 and a bunch of other games, like, for example, Jump Force. These games say that they are not compatible. If a game has this symbol next to it and it... Wouldn't you have looked this up and found this out before you bought it? Like, if you... These are... Let's, hey, you put your work in 226 hours of Mortal Kombat. But, hey, give... You definitely play it. Wouldn't you have looked... Again, wouldn't that have been like a five... Not even five minute. That would have been like a two minute Google search. Oh, wow, my favorite game. Hmm, let me see if it works on this device. Oh, it doesn't. Saved my money. Which, again, shows that he bought this to simply bitch about it because it's a cheap way to get views. The only problem I got with the Steam Deck is sometimes the audio starts crackling only with Cyberpunk. That's a compatibility proton layer shit issue, I'm sure. Uh, hey, Rich, do you enjoy playing on emulation? Sometimes. I don't, I don't buy dev devices for just emulation, though. Maybe you don't get into it. But in terms of... Again, when people buy, like, these super expensive... Or they buy the Steam Deck or some other super expensive device, like, it's fucking overkill. Again, unless you want to emulate, like, the 360 or PS3. I am thoroughly tickled. You're gonna need that kind of horsepower. But then, just, if you want to do just, like, anything before the sixth generation... Even some of the sixth generation. You could buy like a hundred and fifty dollar arm based Android device that'll do it just fine. Uh missing some super chats here. It's a um so it's amazing how a man with so little knowledge and he admits he's clueless about even simple things like the fan control is such a paragon of truth, willing to tell us what literally no one else will. Well that's and it's his dumb audience that actually follows him believes it. And obvious that he didn't really do his research first is obvious. But again, he's looking for viewership. That's all he cares about. Doesn't Valve say games aren't always going to be compatible? And of course, Valve can gauge that. But he's doing software without that no say you put on it. Yeah, he's comparing this like... It's a closed ecosystem console. Like, yeah, okay, if the PlayStation 5 had games on there that you could download that they said weren't compatible with the PlayStation 5, that would be fucking ridiculous. Because it's a closed ecosystem. Every game should be optimized for to run on that platform. But this is a PC. A PC, you know, with a Linux-based operating system. Valve is not going to sit there and make every single game that exists and re-optimize it to run on this thing. That would be insane. It's not he you even though it looks like a switch, you can't compare it to a switch. You're comparing a console to a computer, open platform to a closed platform. You thoroughly tickled idiot. <laughs> oh no. Uh does it so Josh K, April, I'm going to dinner with Alexis. Will she agree to fix our relationship? She loved your cameo, by the way. Brought laughter to a tense moment. You're welcome, Josh. All right. 